question on number eight and four point two. Um, so this one involved a ninth root, and so the, in general, the way that roots work is if you have the nth root of x to the n, that's just going to be a plain x. So like if I have the square root of x squared, that's x. If I have the ninth root of x to the ninth, I'm taking the ninth root of something to the ninth, so that makes it, again, just an x. If we thought of it with a fractional exponent, it's that we're taking one ninth of nine, which makes x to the one, or x. So whatever this index is, for that many, that means one is going to come out. So in this case, when I have a group of nine, that's going to re represent one coming out of the radical. Um, so the easiest way to figure out how many are coming out, what's staying in, is just to use division. So if I go 9 goes into 21, um, that would go 2 times, because that would make 18, right, with 3 left over. And so if I'm saying 9 into 21, that's 2, which is 18, and then minus uh, 21 minus 82 would be remainder 3. So what that means is x squared is coming out because 9 goes in twice and then x cubed to the remainder, those last 3, are going to stay in the radical. So 9 goes into 21 two times with 3 left over. That's the math. But it's because there's two sets of 9, so 2 come out. And these left over 3, I have to have 9 to be able to take them out so I don't have enough so they stay in. Um, now that looks like a 19. Let me get rid of that little smudge. Go away smudge. There we go. Um, so then 9 goes into 16 one time. So y or y to the first comes out. And then there would be 7 left over in that case. So y to the 7th. So this was representing 9 of the y's and there's the other 7 for the 16. And then last, 9 goes into 25 two times. So z to the 7th, so that would be 18 and 7, gets us back to the 25. So that is how you simplify any of anything <clears throat> with an index, any of these radicals. If this had been a 4, we would have done the exact same thing. 4 would have gone in 5 times, 5 came out, 1 stays in. So it's the exact same process no matter what that index. We're just using division um, to figure out the, what we're able to simplify out and what the remainder would be.